The Invaders, a Keith Lommer production. Starring Roy Finnis as architect David Vincent. 1967. The Invaders. A Quinn Martin production. The Invaders. Alien beings from a dying planet. Their destination, the Earth. Their purpose, to make it their world. David Vincent has seen them. For him, it began one lost night on a lonely country road looking for a shortcut that he never found. It began with a closed, deserted diner and a man too long without sleep to continue his journey. It began with the landing of a craft from another galaxy. Now, David Vincent knows that the invaders are here, that they have taken human form. Somehow he must convince a disbelieving world that the nightmare has already begun. Established SF author Keith Lommer tackles the invaders. A one-man war against aliens from outer space. First, in a thrilling new series based on the smash ABC TV hit, starring Roy Thinnis, created by Larry Cohen. It's a good thing they say based on, because what you just saw as the origin story in the introduction to the show is not the origin story in the novelization. And maybe I shouldn't even say novelization. This is three stories in 142 pages. They are connected stories. On the back, it says, The invaders orbited the Earth in flying saucers. Some have already landed. The others are waiting. The invaders are merciless, inhuman creatures from a dying planet. They know more about science than we do. They have weapons of incredible power. The invaders have already begun to take over. Their scouts have settled among us. Their agents have infiltrated our highest councils. The invaders must be stopped. But only one man, David Vincent, even knows they exist. amazing special effect that red glow and then the swirling smoke and then just ashes on the floor that death effect for the aliens does not exist in the novelization david spencer in his book the novelizers an affectionate history of media adaptations and originals their astonishing authors and the art of the craft was published in 2023 if we zoom in here, I think that this author photo is Keith Lommer. According to David Spencer, Lommer didn't care for the original premise of architect David Vincent accidentally stumbling across evidence of a secret alien invasion of Earth. In the book, Vincent is a consulting engineer who inspects factories and submits ways they can improve production. While doing this, he discovers a number of small factories are each making different components that can be assembled into something, something alien. He investigates and soon is up to his neck in danger. He confirms that there are hostile aliens on Earth, but any potential ally is soon murdered or seriously injured. When I first started reading this book, I was a bit confused. This wasn't the TV series that I recalled. Where was the David Vincent pulling over to fall asleep at a diner that no longer existed? Where were these alien crafts? And how come the aliens didn't die with a red glow? Why was David an engineer and not an architect? There still was that paranoia, 
and the difficulty in persuading people to believe that there was an alien invasion underway. And now for Lommer's writing itself, I actually thought at first that he was going by a script. It seemed like he was just adding sentences together as he found them in the script. He must have done his plotting this way. Do you remember in school when one of your best friends would try to tell you about what happened in an episode of a TV show the previous night? And then this, and then this. Oh, you won't believe it. This is happening. And then this happened. Continues on and on and on. Well, that's what it felt like reading Lommer's work. But this is a retelling of a story that he manufactures the majority of it. I think it is obvious that this was a quick paycheck for Lommer, and he continued with a second book in the series as well. As for the TV show, I watched an episode, and as with most 1960s series, things move slowly but it still held some of the charm that I remember. Of course, nostalgia paints beautiful, warm pictures in our mind where the reality is not quite the same. It was a little jolting to see how slow and hackneyed the episode was. I've come to realize that I still want to treasure these nostalgic moments. It's about age and time and history. It's about receptiveness and what media is available. So while I realize that the TV series isn't really that good, and the book certainly isn't, I still have warm memories for The Invaders. The book, The Invaders, is a pulpy action mess. Lommer does try to establish some motive for these aliens. From page 56. He knew about them. Only he... Of all Earth's millions, they were here, they were real, the invaders. For that was what they were, David knew with a chilling certainty. Invaders, being, not human, not of this Earth, here among humanity, infiltrating the society of their victims, working, planning, toward what? He didn't know, but the knowledge that they existed was enough to start with. Here's an example of some of the pulpy action-style writing. From page 53, one of the invaders, Dorn, says, Stop there. I offer you your life for information. David spun, sprinted for the cover of tumbled rocks. Behind him, he heard the ripping crackle of the eruptor. A head, vivid light glared, cutting through a great boulder like a knife through cheese as the ravenous beam annihilated the matter in its path. And now in conversation with the villain Dorn. It was a mistake, Dorn stated, a failure. But one failure is nothing. In the end, the great race. Great race, David taunted, backing again as Dorn followed, the other alien close beside him. How many of your great race are there? How long do you think you can go on hiding, killing, plotting? Enough, Dorn blared. There are few of us and widely scattered, true. But we fight for our lives, and for more than our lives. We fight for a nesting place for our race, that it may yet rise from destruction and live again in the glory it knew a million years ago. Here's another passage of confrontation with Dorn and David. Don't move, David said between gritted teeth. Vincent. You burned my body, broke my bones, Dorn keened, and now again you aim a weapon at me. But I ask you, as one living being to another, hold your fire. Vincent, a naughty croaked, shoot him, he's not human, can't you see? That's right, Dorn cut in, shoot the alien, kill the stranger. That's the way of your tribe, is it not, Vincent? You boast of your civilization, your enlightenment, your mercy, and yet... You've hunted me and my kind like vermin. Dorn's eyes seemed to gleam in the fitful glow of the silent, flaring meteorites. Does not the sight of your handiwork sicken you, David Vincent? That should give you a flavor for the writing in this book. So what are my thoughts on Keith Lommer's The Invaders? It's not a faithful adaptation. I knew the TV series, or at least I had nostalgic memories of it. And this wasn't exactly it. Once again, my preconceived notions were coloring my view of a novel. But even if I tried to put that aside, 
This is not a very good novel. I couldn't recommend this to someone who hasn't seen the series. And if you have, it's an oddity, an adaptation that takes its own flavor from the basic plot. I give it 4 out of 10. So can you think of any other adaptations that are different from the source material? Not from an old script, but actually the author taking this material and changing it. What did you think of The Invaders, the TV series? And if you've happened to read this book, the book itself. What are some good works of Lahmer? He certainly was a prolific writer. And what about nostalgia? Is it a cozy comfort for you? Or is it a lie waiting to be exposed? Perhaps you have examples of something that may have actually held up to its nostalgia. Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, keep, keep reading. reading.